Okay, this next video is going to provide us with a solution for a problem that we have when we focus that JTEC laser. Um, right now, in order to focus that laser, what we have to do is use a screwdriver to turn down the screw to the current on that laser driver board uh, down to a, a low enough power where it's safe to focus that laser. Um, but there's a software solution to doing that, so we don't have to do it through a, um, a hardware solution. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to provide uh, to set up a new uh, laser focus profile in your mock loader, and it will do exactly that. So let's start with a um, we're going to start with our laser profile, and we're going to um, modify that somewhat. Uh, we don't want to change the laser profile. We want to have a separate profile left specifically for that laser, but we want to create a new profile only for um, only for laser focus. And so we're going to clone the laser profile that we have. And we're going to make a new profile called laser focus. Hit the OK button. OK, now we've created that. So let's go in and to our laser focus profile. And, um, what we want to do is go to um, the config tab up in the menu. Uh, go to our ports and pens selection. Make sure that we still um, have port number one active and that we have our uh, 25,000 hertz uh, radio button checked. Go over to the spindle setup tab, click on that. Remember, in our uh, laser profile, we um, uncheck this block and we put a number one in each one of these two blocks, and that was good. Um, but in this profile, we want to go a step further and go under the motor control box and check the use spindle motor output option at the OK button. And then un, uh, check the PWM control, and that will automatically unselect the step and dir motor control. So we have these top two blocks checked. Go down to the PWM base frequency and whatever number that's in there change that to 250, leave the minimum at zero, hit the apply button and okay. We'll go back to our config um, menu, our ports and pins selection. Now we'll go to motor outputs. We'll see that the spindle has been activated uh, by our previous step. We're going to change these numbers to 17 to match the pin that we use on the um, breakout board. And again, if you use a different number pin on your breakout board, make sure you make the appropriate adjustment. But for the purpose of this demonstration, it's 17. And our port is one in both, both cases. So uh, we hit the apply button and OK. We'll go back to the config tab, go down all the way down to the spindle pulleys option, which is third from the bottom. Click on that. Um, go to spindle um, or the pulley number one. Leave the minimum speed at zero, but change that maximum speed to 100. And I'll demonstrate why uh, once we get downstairs in the shop. Leave the ratio at one, hit the OK button. Um, click out of the um, Mach 3 profile. Uh, restart it. And now we're going to check our laser focus profile. Config. We'll start with the um, spindle pulleys option. We have spin, uh, the pulley number one. We have minimum speed zero, maximum speed 100, ratio one. So that took. Config, ports and pins. We'll go to motor outputs. We have an activation, 17, 17, no, no, one and one. That's good. Let's go to spindle setup. This didn't change any. Uh, these two blocks are checked and they're active. Yes, we're at 250 for our base frequency and zero for our minimum. So everything worked. Uh, we now have a new set up that will assist us greatly when it comes to focusing that laser.